स्थापकाय च धर्म से सर्वधर्मस्वे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम ओ बुद्ध शरण गच्छा ओ धम शरण गच्छा संघम शरण गच्छा टुडे इज दि होली बर्थडे ऑफ भगवान बुद्धा विल बी डिस्कसिंग टाइम इज वेरी शॉर्ट वेरी ग्रेट लाइफ विल ट्राई टू सी द मेन आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड टीचिंग्स स्वामी विवेकानंद वॉज वेरी बाय दिस लाइफ in all his complete works of nine volumes we see in different places the mention of bhagwan buddha and especially of his compassionate heart the heart of buddha and the intellect of shankara has made shri ram krishna that's what the swami ji has told in one place so the avatara भगवान बुद्ध वी कंसीडर एज नाइन्थ अवतारा एंड स्वामी जी हैज टर्म्ड भगवान श्री राम कृष्ण एज द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ द अवतार सो द हार्ट ऑफ बुद्धा एंड द इंटेलेक्ट ऑफ शंकरा कंसिस्ट्स इन द भगवान श्री राम कृष्ण सो दिस भगवान बुद्धा वॉज बॉर्न इन लुम्बिनी <clears throat> this place is now in nepal uh, those days there is rivers etc and uh, near gorakhpur there is in uttar pradesh gorakhpur is a place of the nath sampradaya that time also the nath sampradaya was very much prevalent 2500 years before means now it is 2550 years we can say or 60 years all the remnants are there wherever buddha had gone the uh, by the grace of many bhikkhus that is the monks of the buddhism they have collected the data and records wherever he has gone whom he had met all that is uh, there many additions also are there normally in the saints and sages and prophets and incarnations life the similar incidents followers they keep adding so some incidents also are added in 2500 years we can understand so the birthplace is lumbini near gorakhpur and the palace of his father is as a king actually father was a king of kapilavastu the town the name of the town is kapilavastu father's name is shuddhodana shuddha odana means shuddha rice or pure rice pure rice in the sense the pure like the pure rice the person who has the heart like the pure rice the clan the family name was gautama shakya muni swami ji many places say shakya muni so here the clan was shakya mother's name was maya devi so we need not get into the too much of uh, details directly uh, we shall just pinpoint the uh, events in his life So Siddhartha was born to Maya Devi and Shuddhodana in the garden at Lumbini. At the time of his birth itself many have predicted that either he will become the king of the kings or he will become the renouncer of this world and he will pravartana dharma chakra pravartana he will be able to uh, wheel will he will be able to move the wheel of the dharma so his name was put as siddhartha 
गिवन वॉज सिद्धार्थ सिद्धार्थ मीन्स फुलफिलिंग द पर्पज सिद्ध अर्थ अर्थ मीन्स पर्पज फुलफिलिंग द पर्पज ऑफ द लाइफ सिद्धार्थ द बर्थ एक्जैक्टली इज फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री बी सी टू थाउजंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटी इयर्स आर समथिंग लाइक दैट ऑन द पौर्णिमा डे ऑफ द वैशाख मंथ हेयर इट इज कॉल्ड चित्रे देयर इन द नॉर्थ इट इज वैशाख पौर्णिमा वैशाख पौर्णिमा सो आफ्टर सेवन डेज ऑफ हिज बर्थ द माया देवी पास्ट अवे मे बी only purpose of her life was to give birth to this incarnation and her sister younger sister mahapajapati took charge of the child and she has given all the care even actually his father was very much uh, concerned about the motherless child as the prediction was then the father was more concerned that the child should not know any misery of this world so the, the what the father has done whole uh, thing he made a separate palace for him separate gardens where different colors of lotuses are there different all kinds of the pleasures only are shown to Siddhartha, so that he should not come across any misery. If the misery, if he does not come across, then there will be no questions in his mind about the uncertainty of the life. But as the fate goes, he saw first incident is he saw wounded swan, the hamsa, some hunter. had put an arrow and the uh, the hunter had hit an arrow and the swan came to his garden wounded swan came to his garden by seeing that wounded swan first this incident gave him the karuna the compassion what is this why is he when leg was not it was crawling on one leg so he asked his attendants what is this why it has happened who has hit and this then he asks that hunter what is the chance hunter so no sorry sir i will not do it again that's so, but that the misery of that swan has gone deep into his mind and the siddhartha starts thinking about the life then as days go Siddhartha becomes sixteen year old, and Shuddhodana marries him with Yashodhara. There are so many uh, versions that Siddhartha Siddhartha was put to test whether he is capable of marrying by other kings. They were doubtful because king is rearing the child in a very protected environment. In one of the version, it is told that Siddhartha. had passed all the tests very quickly and easily and the kings had happily given the yashodhara uh, to siddhartha in the marriage then the same after the marriage the days are going and they give the birth to a male child the name was given as rahul now the days are going the siddhartha wants to see his kingdom he wants to come out of the garden and see the kingdom his charioteer channa is a very interesting character so channa he asks take out the chariot i just want to move around and channa takes out the chariot and when he comes out a old man a decrepit man with a bent back he sees a sad look on a face everything is old with him and looking very miserable he asks channa what is this who is this person why is he like this then channa says 
ओ प्रिंस दिस इज द फेट ऑफ एवरी पर्सन एवरी पर्सन विल बिकम ओल्ड आई एम ऑल्सो बिकमिंग ओल्ड यू आर यू मे बी यंग कंपेयर टू मी बट एवरी बडी हैज द सेम फेट वेन दे कम इन टू दिस वर्ल्ड हु एवर इज बॉर्न दे आर गोइंग टू गेट ओल्ड सो दो वर्ड्स गेट्स इन टू इज माइंड एंड द थॉट्स आर जर्निंग वॉट इज दिस आई हैव नेवर कम अक्रॉस इवन माई फादर डिड नॉट टेल मी नो बडी टोल्ड मी देन एज ई गोज लिटिल सम फाइव टेन मिनिट्स देन वन सिक मैन अ डिजीज पर्सन दे सॉ एंड अगेन ही आस्क द क्वेश्चन चना हु इज दिस पर्सन वाई इज ई लाइक दिस गास्पिंग फ्रॉ द ब्रेथ इज नॉट एबल टू ड्रिंक वॉटर इवन very sick why what happened to him then chana says my lord everybody anybody can come to this stage this is called a disease when the disease comes the person becomes like this and it is uncertain that who will get what disease so the person is entitled to such diseases and such misery it is unavoidable he starts thinking very deeply third incident third situation they see a dead body a corpse carried by four people and a person one young man is carrying some kind of mud pot and all are shouting ram naam satya hai ram naam satya hai again the question comes in his mind because he has not seen till now no death he has seen oh chana what is this again who is this man lying on the uh, cot like thing and uh, people are carrying him where they are carrying this cremation ground they will burn the body burning the body as yes, body is dead this happens to everybody chana very nicely replies that the ultimate reality of the physical body is death death is uncertain death is certain for everybody the life is uncertain and this face has to be faced by you. one day or the other by everybody whoever is born is definite to die all this makes him very sad morose some kind of thinking person all these days his life was in a different pleasure garden then as they go go on they see a shramana a sanyasi a monk a ascetic they come across a person who is begging from door to door on the road he had never seen a person begging putting on the yellow robe why is he what is he doing who is he chana sir he is a monk ascetic what is he doing what he wants he is a seeker of truth whatever you have seen the misery he wants to go beyond the misery he is called as shramana he does not engage himself in the worldly affairs he wants to know the reality he is a shramana so the complete picture now in the siddhartha's mind has come out this is the misery there is a solution for the misery people are searching for the misery is the solution for the misery the seekers for the truth there is a truth if you get the truth then the misery can be avoided can go beyond the misery his 
mind completely filled with those thoughts and then days after days after thinking one day he decides it is the full moon day the midnight of the day and siddhartha takes a decision to leave the palace to leave behind his beautiful wife his beautiful child and go towards seeking the truth what is it misery why it comes how to go beyond this misery this the truth i must find out everybody is suffering and for everybody it is there so i must find out the truth that's how he leaves the palace he asks channa to bring the horse is uh, kantaka name name of the horse the siddhartha's horse kantaka then both they go on the different horses and after some two to three kingdoms they cross those less kingdoms were just like districts one one district one one kings so the two three districts after two three districts on one river uh, uh, bed the stop the horses then he tells chana now you go back take this all he leaves the robe everything uh, the mukuta everything he gives to the chana and tells you go back and tell my father that i have renounced the world and i will be seeking the truth till the time i get it i will not return back so my father may tell why is he gone he might have gone when he would have been old what is there in the young age you have gone in the young age you tell my father the death is uncertain the disease is uncertain so disease can come in the young age also death can come in the young age also if i just wait for the old age then i will not be able to get the truth ultimate reality so this is the time and he leaves the chana goes away and comes to and reports to the father shudodana shudodana normally the way it happens he scolds him why you have taken him i have not taken the gods themselves have chosen the time when i when he asked me the kantaka did not make any sound even his legs his feet foot the hoof sound was not there the neigh sound was not there the doors the gates wide open there was no watchman on the gates so how you can say that i have taken him it is the god's plan and he uh, had gone in the search of truth so the eternal quest this quest is not today's quest from the day of creation the quest began how it is created why i am i born these are these fundamental questions each one of us they we get it depending on our intensity of the question we get the answers and the siddhartha intensity was highly uh, it was fully occupied with those thoughts how will i get into the answers of these questions at the age of 29 he left the palace so when he went like a shramana he started like a bhikkhu he went door to door begging then he got different groups there were different schools of thoughts 2500 years back it is written in the history 62 schools of thoughts were there the brahmins and the shramanas brahmins means the veda 
ಪಠಣ ವೇದ ಪಾರಾಯಣ ವೇದಿಕ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಫಾಲೋ ದಿ ವೇದಿಕ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ಸ್ ರಿಚುವಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿಚುವಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಜ್ಞಾನೀಸ್ ಶ್ರಮಣಾಸ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸೀಸ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿ ರಿಚುವಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಸೊ ದೆ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಸೊ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಮಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರಮಣಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ರಿಚುವಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಹೆವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ವೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಯಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಮೆಟ್ ದಿ ಗುರೂಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಗುರೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಜೈನ್ ದಿ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜೈನ್ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಜೈನಿಸಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಪರರಿ ಬುದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಪರರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಿರ್ಗ್ರಂಥ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಿ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಜೈನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬುದ್ಧ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗ್ರಂಥ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ನಿರ್ಗ್ರಂಥ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗ್ರಂಥ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ದೋಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಫೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಂಪೆನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಫೈವ್ ಅದರ್ ಬಿಕ್ಕೂಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ಡ್ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಆಸ್ಟರಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಆಸ್ಟರಿಟೀಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಫೋಟೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಕಲ್ಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಬುದ್ಧ ಈಸ್ ಶೋನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ the last days then he understood i am not able to go even little near to the knowledge what am i doing i am simply wasting my time wasting my energy also not eating is not the religion he tried to tell his friends this is not the way this is not the path let us try to uh, try some other thing the friend said no if you want you go away we want to wither away we want to go in this path only then siddhartha came away and find out and then then he slowly goes and goes walks out there are some different rivers come this is a beautiful description in the books and he drinks water sits there meditates takes food and near varanasi near the, now what we see the, uh, there are two other gurus he meets after that there is an alar kalam name is given he teaches him nothingness state of nothingness there is an udakka ramaputta he teaches him the mind is having neither consciousness nor non consciousness so after listening all this he comes to know that they have not reached the state which i am seeking of so he leaves them again gets further and then finds out i have to find out myself i should sit somewhere and he takes he resolves that i will sit in a place very hungry very tired goes takes bath when he comes out there is sujata name very important 
in the history of mankind this sujata the samma brings the bias for this monk she sees a monk hungry monk and she brings a bias thickened milk and gives him is a beggar monk so takes the bowl from her hand drinks the pious feeling very refreshed and then he resolves now this is the time i should he resolves and there is a uh, shloka ihasane shushyatu me shariram tvagasti mamsam pralayam cha yatu aprapya bodhim shatakalp durlabham naivasanat kayam idam chalishyati the simple meaning is i will not move from this place till the time i get the knowledge even my body withers away even my mind goes here and there i will not move from this place now i am sitting the seat i will not leave till the time i get the bodha knowledge the ultimate knowledge this is how he resolves and after maybe some time there is a description called one mara mara is a kind of maya we can say or mara we can be say a negative force which attacks siddhartha from all sides try to disturb try to attract try to distract but the resolve of the uh, siddhartha is completely firm and finally the mara disappears and he gets the illumination it is written in the uh, if we go to the bodhagaya the tree is there under which he got the illumination it is told that siddhartha after the illumination he was dancing for 7 days such a joy such a bliss he was not eating anything neither he was meeting anybody out of the joy of illumination he was dancing for 7 days no tiredness so much of joy full of bliss so the namake kadachada namake theriyo unless and until we get that experience we cannot understand but it is told everybody of us is fit to get it everybody it is uh, not given for only uh, any one person if we work towards it we also can attain to it it is a scripture say what it is cannot be told anyway so then he found out that yes now i understood i realized experiencing that joy he understood that this is the final stage and he sat there quietly many people they came saw him and went away then he started thinking what to do there are two choices for him one is to go get into the maha nirvana leave the body and one option one choice was teaching the message teaching this path then he chose the second option and started thinking whom to make the uh, listeners then his five friends were there whom he had left in the sarnath now it is called sarnath so his main teachings that there is a suffering we see suffering every moment there is a suffering 
and there is a cause for this suffering and you can remove the suffering there is a method to remove the suffering this is the four things main he has told to his friends so there are three stages one is arhat arhat means a qualified person who can uh, get into the class of sadhana arhat then second is the person who is seeking the knowledge sadhaka who is doing sadhana and one other is that is called as bodhi sattva arhat bodhi sattva and buddha so buddha is the perfected being eight fold path noble eight fold path right view right resolve right speech right conduct right livelihood right efforts right mindfulness and right samadhi this is a practice of each uh, uh, practice has to be done there is a different explanation is there we will not get into those things so each uh, this eight fold path there is a practice of this eight things for each sadhaka of the buddhism now there are different sects as we know mahayana is there hinayana that is theravada is there tibetan buddhism is there zen buddhism all the whole philosophy has come out from this main basic tenets of the buddhism swami ji calls buddhism as the rebel child of hinduism this point we shall see and then go to the next swami ji sees the siddhartha the gautam buddha has formed the new path and given the name as a middle path not two extremes extreme austerities even not taking food standing on one leg these people they get some siddhis but not perfection perfection in the sense the reality the ultimate reality which is sachidananda is not experienced the perfect person experiences the sachidananda atman another extreme that there is no god everything <laughs> everything is material two materials came into contact and this world came into existence who brought them into contact no answer so the satta the existence the sat these two extremes the buddha has examined studied and found out the middle path for the practice his simple teaching is very rational very logical at the same time very loving very compassionate atma deepo bhava the last message atma deepo you be a light unto yourself means you are the creator of your own destiny swami ji's words so swami ji had lot of fascination about this life of buddha and the message of swami ji had the vision even before he came to shri ram krishna in his house at is in living house he was meditating one day and he saw buddha came a light in the form of buddha came and he, the light was just coming nearer and nearer then swami ji got bit frightened and <laughs> left the room this is recorded then swami ji says yes i saw buddha 
దట్ డే ఐ సాబ్ సో దిస్ థింగ్ ఇన్ ది కాశీపూర్ వి నో వెన్ శ్రీరామకృష్ణ వాస్ సిక్ అండ్ ఆల్ ది యంగ్స్టర్స్ దే ఆర్ సర్వింగ్ హిమ్ దోస్ డేస్ ఇన్ సచ్ అ హెక్టిక్ దిస్ థింగ్ ఆల్సో స్వామి వివేకానంద హ్యాడ్ సో మచ్ ఫైర్ దట్ ఐ మస్ట్ గెట్ ది నాలెడ్జ్ నౌ అండ్ హియర్ so they went to bodhagaya with three four uh, brothers they went to bodhagaya without telling shri ramakrishna and there they had the vision of the buddha then they came back and shri ramakrishna they saw that it is the same <laughs> avatara shri ramakrishna so lovingly welcomed them again so what did you find in the bodhagaya where did you go so they when they told yes yes so this kind of uh, somebody is asking the gautam buddha sir is there any atman then buddha the answer is have you seen have you did i say that there is a atman there is the existence of the atman so that means there is no atman did i say that there is no atman so what do you mean to say atma deepo bhava you have to experience yourself shri ramakrishna says atman the brahman eto hoy ne the it has not become uchishta it cannot be expressed in the words what the reality is you may express you may express in the words some form some name but you cannot express the ultimate reality what the brahman is in the same message in the different words i am not able to tell you what it is shri ramakrishna says somebody is pressing my throat not able to take it tell you what how it is buddha says i you have to experience then only you will be able to believe it and realize the uh, atman yourself in the first sermon at sarnath dharma chakra pravartana this five uh, bhikkhus he has taught the eight fold path the four basic tenets that there is a misery cause for the misery it can be uh, the cessation can be there of the misery and there is a method method of this eight fold path practice has to be done first you have to become arhat then you have to become bodhisattva then you should become buddha you will become buddha everybody is eligible to become buddha bhagwan buddha says buddha is a state to be attained buddha is not the name of the person buddha is the state so this middle path leads to insight leads to wisdom leads to knowledge leads to perfect enlightenment and leads to nirvana his end comes in the uh, one chunda is one of the devotee or disciple he invites him he invites buddha for a meal and in that food there was some preparation which is not digestible easily so buddha was 80 year old that those days and buddha had told ananda his main disciple that ananda now my time has come and during that time they go there he eats that meal and uh, then the dysentery starts not able to digest that and uh, after then he gets cured he goes to his place after some time he passes into the nirvana he gets he merges in our uh, philosophy he, he becomes one with the brahman 
there is a philosophically in books it is written that there are uh, differences in the uh, advaita nirvikalpa samadhi and the nirvana of the buddhism but hopefully it is it may be the same state only the names may be the different so with this few incidents and uh, the blessings of bhagwan buddha should be on all of us for practicing the eight fold path the same eight fold it is called yama niyama whatever we read in the scriptures through this eight fold path may buddha lead us to a refined state of sadhana and may we go nearer and nearer to the buddhahood to the perfection may bhagwan shri ramakrishna holy mother shri sharada devi and swami vivekananda bless us all gives the strength to practice the sadhana om niranjanam nityam ananta roopam भक्तानुकंपाधृत विग्रह वै ईशावता परमेशमीड्यम तम रामकृष्ण शिरसा नमा